These small tweaks in the way you breathe will help to eliminate strain and have you singing with more power and less effort. Tweak number one is to stop breathing vertically. So what do I mean by that? Well, let me introduce you to myself as an 18 year old minus the lack of hair and silver highlights. 18 year old me loves to sing, but doesn't know much about vocal technique. In fact, he doesn't even think he needs singing lessons at all. Now watch what happens when young me takes a breath in, in readiness for an epic high note. Yeah! That was great. Actually, it wasn't great. Now, did you notice his rising chest and shoulders, which led to tension and constriction in his neck and throat? Yeah! What my young self is doing wrong is breathing shallow and high, and then pushing that air out with far too much effort. There is a much more efficient way to breathe, and that is to think low and horizontal on the inhalation, also known as breathing in. Through the power of deep meditation, watch as I plant a thought in the mind of my younger self. You can improve your voice and be even more awesome by keeping your shoulders low and relaxed, your chest proud, and allow your diaphragm to descend and flatten out as you breathe in. Your air will release gradually, which will result in effortless singing. Yeah! So much easier. There are a couple of ways you can practice this low horizontal breath. But first, let's tweak one more thing, your stance. What do your feet have to do with singing and breathing? The answer is balance. A common mistake many singers make is standing with their feet together. This causes a problem because with your feet together, your body forms a shape of an upside down pyramid. Your shoulders become the widest point and your feet become the most narrow. Try balancing that shape without it falling over. The only reason you don't fall over while in this stance is the muscles through your legs and core are constantly engaging and tightening to keep you upright. If the muscles in your upper core are tense, your diaphragm can't descend and flatten out, which will result in tension or high shallow breathing. There is a very easy fix for this. Stand with your feet about a shoulder width apart, with one foot slightly in front of the other. This will give you a 360 degree feeling of balance. Now boxers use this stance to remain balanced and agile. Now that you are balanced, let's get back to the ways you can practice low horizontal breathing, also known as breathing from the diaphragm. Place your hands under your ribs and empty your lungs of air. Now gradually inhale as if sucking through a straw. While keeping your shoulders low and chest proud, see if you can direct the air towards your stomach. Your goal is to make your ribs and stomach expand as your diaphragm flattens out. When you feel you have reached maximum expansion, stop your inhalation, pause for a moment to notice how it looks and how it feels, and then exhale on a long sound, much like a slow leaking tire or blowing up a balloon and stretching the opening to slow the release of air. You don't need to push your air out, that will happen naturally. You just need to relax, maintain good posture, and then top up your breath when needed. Here's a quick singing hack that you can practice to get the coordination happening a little faster. Place your hand on your stomach and pant like a dog. This panting action is very similar to taking a breath for singing. The only difference being we want to aim for a near silent breath when singing. Now what you've learned today is called diaphragmatic breathing and in combination with a balanced stance creates support for your voice. This breathing technique results in pressurized air that will pass through your vocal cords to produce a vocal tone. Now, if you'd like to learn some great exercises that take advantage of this balance between your airflow and your vocal cords, resulting in increased range and easier high notes, click on this video now.